Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky and today we are going to be working with the Pink Paisley Paige Evans Whimsical Collection for this layout. Up in the top right hand corner of your screen you will see the page map sketch that I am going to be working with today. This is a layout that I created for a load layout a day May 2019 day 23 so that's what I'm working on right now I am still clearing up all the videos that I do have in are on my hard drive it is still July but this one is not going to be going up until August I don't think because just because I have so many I don't know I might end up doubling up who knows now this paper right here is this rainbow paper how pretty is that oh my gosh I love that I am going to use that big strip along the top and I'm also going to cut off a smaller strip to use in a different area now my background is just a piece of white cardstock I do use that rainbow at the top like I said and then this flower piece down here is going to be underneath my photo mat on that photo mat paper it's just those cross signs on kind of a purpley color layout and that's where that other right there that other rainbow stripe paper comes in now that rainbow stripe paper you see how it kind of blends into that blue background I will take it out and go ahead and mat it with some white and I will do the same thing right here see how that rainbow kind of blends into that floral pattern and I just stuck under there. I'll do the same thing there. I'm going to put a, a little strip of white to separate those two pieces of pattern paper. Here recently I've really been getting into matting my pattern paper with um, a colored cardstock be it I mean it could just be white cardstock but or it could be colored cardstock and then layering the pattern papers on top of each other and I'll just have that strip of the white or of the color kind of separating them I've really been into doing that lately now up there at the top to bring in that round element the circular element that's in the sketch I am going to end up putting a doily up there now right here I'm going to go ahead and commit to my base page. This is basically how the base page is going to look and then all I will have to do is embellish the paper. So part of the doily is going to go at the top and part of the doily is going to go right there where I just tucked it in on the left hand side of that photo mat. The photos I'm working with are photos of Riley and this the one on the left hand side is one of the first times actually I think it is the first time she actually pulled herself up to standing position using the couch and the ones on the right hand side now she's wearing the same outfit I think it was the same day that's actually from a video and I screenshot them she is trying to stand up pulling herself up onto a um, I don't know it's some kind of like Mm, one of those little play areas you know where the babies lay on their back and there's the things that hang over their head it's one of those things she's trying to pull herself up onto it I screenshot the video and just use the photos from it so while I was talking about those photos you see where I pulled out a whole bunch of embellishments up at the top I do have a frame I am going to keep that there and I have that little tassel piece I'm not going to use that tassel piece in fact I think I used it on a video that perhaps might have went up even before this one over to the right hand side of the photo cluster I put a little journaling spot this little circle and it says remember who loves you and then I'm also going to put a little word phrase that says happy little moments it's going to be popped up on some foam tape I had everything laid out and then I took it off <laughs> to glue it down so things are going to go back pretty much where they were over there on the left hand side I will have another spot where I can do journaling and a little tiny piece that says my heart is full you know what I wish I would have done here I wish that with that rainbow strip that went across I wish I would have matched them up vertically instead I didn't I have the pink. I wanted to keep the pink on there for whatever reason I don't even know why so I didn't match them up vertically if I would have matched them up vertically I would have just have that peach and yellow on that side and then on the right hand side I would have the purples 
uh, that's not the way I ended up going, but that's the way I, w looking back, I would have went with it, but I didn't, I didn't think it out that much. So on that journaling card, there was words, I can't remember what it said, but I, that's why I put that heart, that circular piece there with a the heart on it. It was to cover up the words. It didn't have anything to do with what the, I was trying to get across on this layout so I went ahead and covered it up. Here's where I'm going to go ahead and pop up that happy little moments on some foam tape and here's the other journaling piece I was talking about. It's going to go ahead and sit right there. I will put some layers up on it. One is that square-ish right there rectangle part. It says my heart is full. It's going to go up there and I will layer on top of it uh, an arrow and then we're going to come in with some enamel shapes and dots later. There's that arrow. Here I'm also going to be using this purple butterfly right there. Now the butterfly, I just glue it down in the center so its little wings can pop up. They probably won't stay popped up when they're in a page protector, but you never know. I am going to put the lovely right there at the top of that photo. Now I do have to put foam tape behind the top half of the word. We don't have to, but that's what I do. I put foam tape over the top half of the word and then glue the level, uh, the bottom half down onto the photo. I will use that little banner piece right there up at the top of lovely and it says today is a new day. Here's where I'm going to go ahead and commit to the top part. I do put that doily down. Then I'm going to put the striped paper on top of it but that other piece the floral piece I'm going to slide it underneath the doily so it looks like the doily is coming out between those two pieces of paper which I guess it technically is because I just kind of slid it up underneath there I really liked that look a lot at first I was going to put that flower piece over the doily but then there wouldn't be that much showing so that's why I went ahead and tucked it up underneath this cluster up here is just that frame and then there's kind of like a yellow ticket and then there's a sticker and it's a purple sticker and it says so proud we're so proud of her right she can stand up now whoop whoop <laughs> here I'm going to go ahead and start working on this cluster at the top left hand side of the photo and that's where I said I put that today is new banner down and then there's just another die cut butterfly sitting there as well I wanted to add a little extra adhesive to that doily because it was like really standing up a lot I think that one might have got a little bit wrinkled in my stash so we went ahead and fixed that I will pull out the Heidi Swap color shine in gold and give that a splatter around the page, which I think is what I just did. Then I will come in with some enamel butterflies, or I might have already done that, that, or they might not be on there yet. They'll be there in the final pictures, I think. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Yep, there's an enamel butterfly. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.